Hello everybody, welcome back to another Set Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix touchscreen not responding on your Lenovo Tab 1. So, what we want to do first is remove the screen protector or a case because it can cause a lot of interference and let me explain why. When you have a case and it's covering the part of the screen and I'm not talking about the bezels right here, I'm talking about the actual part of the screen that is actually a display. So, you definitely do not want it to touch your screen. So, if that's the case, then remove it. And for the screen protector, let's say if it's misaligned or not aligned properly, if it's poor quality, then we definitely want to remove it too because it can also cause your touch screen to become less responsive. Now, let's grab a microfiber cloth and everything should be ready. So, we need to grab a microfiber cloth and clean the screen. So don't go too hard on it, you'll get rid of any fingerprints and everything. So now we got rid of the fingerprints, we got rid of the moisture and debris, so now our screen is clean and now we know that it's not the issue of it. So let's go over and first restart our tablet to refresh the system. First hold the power button and right after you see the reboot and the power off, hold the power down. So just like that. Now hold the power down and you will need to hold it for more than 8 seconds to shut down your entire tablet. So let me do that again. I accidentally slipped my finger. Let's keep on holding it and as you guys can see our screen just turned black. We will see the Lenovo logo soon. Now we can let go and now we just wait for it to turn back on, so I'll see you guys in a second. So now, after the forced restart, what can we do as a last resort is update our software because it can fix a lot of our issues, including the touchscreen not being responsive. So go over to settings and swipe all the way down until you see about tablet, click on it, and go to the system update right here. After that, we will simply click check for updates, but Sometimes when you open up those settings, you will see that it's checking for updates automatically. So you do not have to worry about anything. And as you guys can see, I have the latest version. So I don't need to update my tablet. So if you don't run the latest version, then I recommend you guys to do so. Because it's very important to have the latest version of your software installed. It can fix a lot of issues, as I've mentioned before. And that's basically it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then leave a like, subscription, and a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.